welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Hey, listen, great, great, great suggestion. You are all listeners of the Leadership Library. You are all leadership librarians. <laughs> Congratulations. You are all leadership librarians. It's an honor to, for you to be in a library with us. So let's talk about some of the themes of the book, librarians, that we have out there. See, I can't even say the word librarian. Is that crazy or what? Uh, uh, maybe that's why I never said it before. Hey, probably because I didn't think of it before. So let's talk a little bit about the themes of the book. See, when I'm into the book, I get to be Joe Scafone and get to be my, get to be uh, having a good time here. So the title of the book is called Tighten the Lug Nuts, right? And it came from a story that's in the book and it's, I'll let you go ahead and read that chapter. But at the end of the day, it's about the fact that lug nuts are loose. When they're loose, they're important, but you have time to fix them, right? Because it's simple enough to go fix them. But if you don't fix those lug nuts right away, the loose lug nuts become urgent when you go to drive with loose lug nuts. And so the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, and that theme comes from that whole story of when lug nuts are loose, when things are, when lug nuts are loose, they're important. But if you don't tighten them, they become urgent. As a leader, you can only handle so many urgent things. So tighten your lug nuts. Another way of saying it is procrastination will kill you right? F great story I like to tell about an individual whose dad has passed away, lived a wonderful old life, and he's now going through his, some of his clothes in the attic and he finds an old sport coat. And in a sport coat, he finds a ticket from a shoemaker that his dad had put, you know, given the shoemaker some 30 years ago. And he's wondering, I wonder if those shoes are still in the shoemaker, this great old Italian shoemaker on Main Street in Woodbridge. And so he takes the tag, gets up, a, gets up enough courage and takes the tag and takes it to the shoemaker. Shoemaker looks at the tag, turns around, walks in the back, comes back and says, hey, they'll be done a week from Thursday. Procrastination will kill you. Loose lug nuts, they're important, but when you don't tighten them, they become urgent. Don't procrastinate, tighten your lug nuts. There's some other ones. You want to be a visible and approachable uh, leader. You want people to believe in you, not because you're the leader, but because what you do stems from an honest heart and they follow you because they believe in the things that you're saying. They believe that you have those values. They believe that you care about them as individuals. And I think that's what's so important. You stay at a company Right. I stayed at UP. I was at UPS for 36 years. I, w I didn't stay at UPS because I, I agreed with everything. I didn't disagree enough to leave because I felt I fit. I felt like my values as individuals, my ethics, UPS never asked me to violate a policy or break a law. So I felt like I fit there. And so on that rough day, I might have drove home at night, right? And and felt like, man, what's going on? I don't know if I could do this anymore. And then, then I went home and then I got up earlier the next day just to go back. I hope nobody heard me, right? Because I, I belong there. And so as an organization, that's what you want your people to feel like they belong, that they're part of something that they can believe in. And so for me, the theme of the book is, is that you want to be approachable. You know, the stories are in there are, are to make you laugh, are to make you smile, are to make you understand, hey, we're all just good people trying to do the best job we can. We all have a responsibility. Some of our responsibilities are different than others, but there are no easy jobs. I used to always say as CEO, I was chief enthusiasm officer. Nobody needed me to run around and run things because they knew how to run things. I just had to empower them how to do it. So I think that that's what's so important. And that's one of the main themes of this book, which, which is, and when I wrote it is, empower people through your reading Give them the opportunity to be better than they've ever been before. Give them a, a vision of what good looks like, and then they can create their own vision of good. Help them answer that question, what is the word you want someone to use to, to describe you at the end of your career? Thanks once again. And now I know I am part 
of a conference of librarians as part of the Leadership Library family. Until we meet again, be safe and thank you very much. And thank you once again for sharing Tighten the Lug Nuts with your family and friends and colleagues. I want to rock! rock!